Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a very special episode of our Minecraft Pocket Edition Let's Build a World in Maketopia. This is episode 40 and as we've said for the last couple of weeks this is going to be the final episode of our world Maketopia. It's been a while. <laughs> 40 episodes is a 40, lot. Yeah, uh, and I think it's probably been close to or maybe a little bit over here because there are a few weeks where we couldn't do a new build in a week. So this is going to be a special celebration of everything we've achieved in the 40 episodes. So we're going to do a world tour starting in our commercial district with where better than our Sky Donut, the tourist attraction in Megtopia. <laughs> And there will be some new builds later on in the video as well. And we're going to have a big question for you to get your views on in the comments. Also, there is going to be a map download link in the video description below. And a number of you have asked, how do you actually get this map onto your device? Well, I am going to post a link to a video which explains how to do it if you're on iOS. And I'm going to put a link to that and another link in the video description below to another way of doing an iOS which I haven't used and I don't know how reliable it is. You have to download a piece of software, so can't recommend that at all, but if you want to feel free, and also for Android devices. So hopefully those will help you guys out. So this is our commercial district, we have a couple of skyscrapers, a mini skyscraper down there. <laughs> and I thought it was cool just to have a little bit of traditional grid pattern roads going on over here. Here we have a massive road. These roads take so long to build. And what is this stuff in your, the water, by the way? There's something, yeah, right here in front of your skyscrapers. This little yeah. hole. That's that? actually, you remember that episode we went caving? Uh, vaguely. We had an episode where we explored some massive caves that are kind of down here, and we okay. got lost for a very, very, very long time, okay. and then we came out here. Oh. So I just thought, I'm going to remember that. You marked the spot, basically. So I marked the spot, so all the way down there you can see wow. is, Ooh, let's get a good view. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only in creative mode. Yeah, we came out there. So, yeah, here's our main thoroughfare for the city with some nice street lights. As we keep on going down, we get right to the city square centre, I think. Down here is actually an entrance to our subway. We might take a look at that if we have time to go into the police station. And let's take a look now at our city square. This was one of the first things we, I think it was maybe episode 11. Shows what a good memory I might have. <laughs> we built this whole city square. This line I completely copied off a great guy on YouTube who makes some amazing statues. Tudor house and the rest of the garden was all my own. I really like the wall design and I made this really cool fountain. And that was designed to connect to the town hall, and here is the town hall in all its glory. Massive. Yeah. Now, what town hall was this based on? It was based on the state capital of Nebraska, I think. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Do you want to take a quick look inside? Sure. There's not much inside in terms of stuff. It's not decorated. It'd be nice if Minecraft had, like, doors made out of other materials. There are different wooden doors. I think there weren't when I built this one, actually. But I think they added them since then. I think this is maybe I started in point twelve. Well, I was thinking like metal doors, stone doors. Yeah, there aren't any stone doors. Mm. Here we're going to take a little bit work down into. Oh, this is our car park. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a way. Where can we get up into? There's actually something pretty cool. There's a huge underground cavern. If I can work out how to get to it. Let's see. It's been this... so long. I know. Let's float a bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right in the middle. Right in the middle? That's a safety hazard. I know. Whee! Oh my gosh. So here we are right at bedrock. <laughs> there was just this huge cave underneath, and I hollowed it out with a lot. Oh, maybe I've made this all with dynamite. I can't remember now. Mm. Oops. It's very hard to navigate when you're facing straight up, I tell you. And you can also, you can exit through the way we came in which takes us all the way up to the top of the tower. Oh. But you can also go through here. This is some of the most secret places in our world. I'm going to get stuck in the water. <laughs> Come on. Can that happen in creative mode? Well, you can still get in its stream. So here we are. We managed to come out. Nice. Okay. See, it looks completely normal and innocuous here, but yep. really it's a secret waterfall down to the depths of the earth. Moving on behind the massive town hall, we have the home for the mayor of Maketopia, and it 
is a lovely house modeled after the White House in America. Very cool. I love the hedges along the path yeah. and around the house as well. Yeah, I like that hedge. It's nice. It's actually leaves mm -hmm. made to look like hedge. And they have their own secret thing down to somewhere underground there because, you know, the president, I guess, in America has a big secret bunker somewhere. So why shouldn't the mayor of Maketopia get a bunker too? Moving on back via this large just grassland, we have Maketopia Zoo. This, I think, is one of my favourites. I said I was going to ask you if you had any favourite builds from these 40. And Top I'm going to ask three you favorites. guys as well, yeah. Top but, three favourites. Mm -hmm. So this is one of my top three. Mm -hmm. So I would love to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments what are your top one, top two, or top three builds. Wait until we've seen everything over the whole episode, but do please share in the comments. It'd be really great to see what you guys like. And there also, if you've missed any of the videos in this series, we've got the entire playlist on our channel, so you can go back and watch all 40 total episodes. Yeah, with more detail about each of these builds. I'm very happy that these wolves and ocelots and pigs and mushrooms are still getting on well. I think the birds have flown away, <laughs> but that's only to be expected. From our zoo, you can now see the back of some of the residential areas in Maketopia. So if we go along the side here, well, first of all, here's the school we made just last week. In the shape of a student, walking or running along, holding <laughs> some books. <laughs> We're the basketball area there to play in. And if we come back here, we get to a whole bunch of residential buildings. Here is a river cottage, and we have this river cottage in both Minecraft Pocket Edition, in Sims Free Play, and in The Sims 4. I just really like the design, so I made it three times. Going down this street, you can see here the side of our apartment building. And you can see a number of modern houses. We did all these together, these three. Uh, there's only... Oh, there are three. One side. No, we only did two modern houses. Where's our third modern house? I guess it's over there. <laughs> well, here are our two modern houses, and they look very nice and swanky. They're also like a different colour than I remember. So, I don't uh, know. I don't... Oh, this one looks a bit different. Yeah, I must it does. Say. Yeah. The, I remember it being sort of yellowish and now it looks pinkish. Yeah, Weird. maybe they did subtly change the colour of clay. Huh. Hmm. I think there's some other clay stuff around, so see if that has changed a little bit as well. This one, definitely in snow and grey, so this I think is stayed the same. We can still see. <laughs> oh, so cute, these villages. This guy's still stuck. He was stuck here last week and he's stuck here now. Oh, gosh. Um. I just don't know what to do about that. Yep. Here's the front of our apartment building. Very fancy with those nice columns. And this is our fire station, modelled after the Lego modular building fire station. So this is actually a really fun build. And it is decorated inside and there's a fire station uh, right there. <laughs> fire truck. A fire truck. Now this is the road with our brownstones on. There's three different brownstones. Two are very similar, these two here, and this one the older brownstone is a little bit different. I think these are very nice and they have several floors each and you can see they're also decorated on the roof with a water tower and fire escape and stuff. Now on the other side on our main highway we first of all have the theatre which is fully decorated. And dark and spooky. Yeah it used to be... I think we published that video like right around Halloween. Yeah and it used to be sort of uh, serve the occult. This is a second public space area with tourist information here, <laughs> an ice cream stall here, lots of seating, and a pet shop. A lot of you really wanted to see a pet shop at Megtopia, and this is it. That is the pet shop. <laughs> now this is another one of my favourite builds. This is probably my number one. I don't quite know why. This is the train station. I just really like how it's just got a weird different angles and shapes and stuff, but it all still works. It works, I think, better than some of my other ones where I've tried to get some interesting shapes going on. I just really like it, and out the back it's a little bit more industrial and square, where you actually have the train platforms. But with this cool glass roof. Yeah, yeah, because you've got to have light in for your trains, and here we have the trains going into a tunnel which actually just made this whole mound to be like a tunnel. It still hasn't got grass everywhere, but it will one day, I promise. <laughs> and the train station is modelled after St Pancras. Yeah, yeah, loosely after St Pancras in London. Slash King's Cross for those Harry Potter fans. <laughs> yeah. Here is a police station, which is also loosely modelled after a real-life building, which, well, in a TV show was at least supposed to be a police station. So that's pretty cool. And here we have the newest massive addition in this part of town. It is our football stadium, which is why those villagers are wandering around, because they're prepping for the big match soon. 
We have a whole load of fancy houses over here, these little 5x5 five five houses, starter homes I think they are. Mm -hmm. And here a much bigger home, this is one of kind of the biggest house I've made in this town. A lot of them are pretty small but this one's pretty big and this is a modern farm cottage. That's pretty cool. And now let's swing over this, I don't know which way to go. Let's go this way first and then we'll cycle back. So this is a dam, which I did have a lot of fun building this. I wanted to build something really tall and fun with water. Wait, this is the aqueduct. The dam is somewhere else. Yeah. This is the aqueduct. <laughs> both were fun and both involved lots of water, but here is the aqueduct. I think that looks pretty impressive. And now let's scoot quickly over to the Maketopia sign, which I think was maybe episode 20 we built this to celebrate episode 20. This was, yeah, mammoth undertaking. I think came out pretty well. I really did want to challenge myself going for a script font rather than just a blocky font, but I think it works. Mm. We follow this quartz path here, we do get to the dam. This is modelled loosely on Hoover Dam in America, just because it looked pretty good. It's much bigger, I think, in real life, but it was fun building up this whole dam area, kind of fake water shelf here, to make it look like there really is enough water to power this dam, which powers the whole of Maketopia. Now, let's go to the farm area of Maketopia. Where's where... this path going, by the way? This path? Yeah. That goes up to the dam. Oh, okay. We're now going to get onto the more country roads here. I don't think I'd realize that you actually even built yeah. a path separately. Paths everywhere. <laughs> There's a tunnel here going underneath this, whatever this is called, it's a hill. <laughs> and it joins up with the road again here. And here we go in different directions. This is the back of the farm over to the left, but we're going to go to the right so we can snake around and see it from the front. But there's all the fields. Still looks really nice. You always like this one. Yeah, I did. And if we keep on moving around, there's one of the cows has got out, I guess. <laughs> Let's go up here first, and we will come back to the farm. This is our castle walls. It's castle ruins, really. Part of it is still pretty much intact at the front, and I think this is where some modern archaeologists have tried to make it look nice. But you can see over here, the ravages of time and war have not been kind to our castle ruins. But inside, you've got... Inside we have a fair. This was to celebrate episode 30. There's a fairground with stalls selling all kinds of fun goods and there's a hot air balloon ready to take people off into the sky to see this world of Megtopia from above. So it's kind of like a tourist attraction. I'm going to say this is probably one of my top three favorites just because it adds, I think, a lot of character to the world and I really like what you did with like the wreckage and the ruins on the walls yeah. and then making the inside part sort of fun, like I can totally imagine people of Maketopia coming here on the weekends to just have some fun time with their families. Well, thank you very much for that. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a big project and was fun to build. Suddenly bashing things out and making that look natural was pretty fun. So here we now are at the front of our farm. Here is our barn. This is, I really like this one. This is possibly one of my favorites as well. I got a lot of favorites. But also because if you go down into the basement, there's a secret surprise. Is it still there? Yes, it is. This is the golden craft that Kalel of Krypton came to <laughs> Earth in. And it's hidden underneath the barn, just like it is on Smallville and in some of the comics. <laughs> but yeah, this barn, I just think it has a lot of character. I really like its shape and I like the kind of face at the front. Yep. We have a couple of tractors here. And I think I had a video giving a tutorial of how to make those tractors. And here we have the farmhouse. Oh, I've got two farm. I guess this is a different style of farmhouse to the modern farm cottage we have in the center of Megtopia. We have some fences here so people don't fall into the caves. All those pretty flowers are still there, which is great to see. And now we're going more towards the very, very start of our builds in Megtopia. We're at the back of our beach resort. And if you look very closely, you will see the very first thing we built in Megtopia, and that is this blue cottage, this cabana right here. Wait, you started with the blue one or the yellow one? I think I started with the yellow one. <laughs> I, it. I started with the yellow one. This yellow cabana was build number one. We started off at spawn. We went off exploring, trying to find somewhere nice where we could set up our beach home. And this was where we did it. 
I had also had the misfortune of making one of these before we started the series to practice and I burnt it down mm. with lava because I was silly. But then we ended up getting some really funny stories from people about their accidents and fires Yeah, in which is really cool. And we're going to see now. So here's the rest of the resort. There's two different styles of cabana. Here is the restaurant area. Over there, there's some nice stuff just for relaxing. And if you take this boat over to this little island, you will see the remnants of our fire stories. <laughs> <laughs> These are all the... Still Most, burning. Yeah, still burning and will burn forever <laughs> as a memoriam to all of the things that you have set on fire or got blown up in Minecraft. This is a cruise ship and this was pretty early on. This was like episode four or five and it was definitely the biggest challenge I'd taken on to date. And I have not tried another big boat because it is really hard to build boats. <laughs> but I think this is one of my top three favorites as well. Okay. Well, I just really always nice. thought it was really Thank impressive you. and you done the inside as well. Yes, it is fully decked out on the inside. I actually think the nether bricks here have changed colour. I think those have huh. gone a little bit pinky as well. Huh. They were a little bit darker before because we've just updated just today to 0.15. So I think some of the colours have changed a little bit. Let's now head back to land. We have our final old build and then our big new celebration build. So here is our mountain home built into the mountain with at the back there is a... Should we go through the back and see the garage where they store the cars? So surely this is your biggest house. You were saying that the family or the farm cottage was your biggest. But yeah, this maybe it is. Like... It's big in terms of the complex, but actually the house itself the rooms aren't that big. Hmm. But I guess it does have this massive room at the back too, so I'm sure you're right. They like sports cars in this family, so they have a couple of sports cars in their garage at the back and they can just zip out through their private driveway back onto the main road. But we're going to follow the road round this way and get to our special bill for this week. It's a celebration birthday cake. <laughs> Let's take a look at it from above first. That it is has so cute. 40 candles wow. <laughs> to celebrate our 40th episode. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. So they look like candles from this side. It does mask the top of it a little bit. But as you can see as we go around, this might look familiar for anybody who has spent some time baking in Minecraft themselves. This is modeled as closely as I could with the colors I had to the cake you can make in Minecraft. <laughs> so it's kind of pixel perfect in terms of the dimensions, but some of the colors didn't quite match. Like this is white wool next to snow, next to quartz. They're all supposed to be white, but they all look a little bit funny. I like that they're different colors and textures though. Yeah, they are supposed to be different. Okay. And I tried to make it similar-ish to the actual cake, but certainly you've got the different textures here and you can see this is what I based it on. Here's the cake here. <laughs> so oh. you can see, did I do a good job or not? Yeah. How similar does it look? I think you did a great job. Thank you very much. And is that a door on the side there? That is a door. So let's step through to get the last piece of our celebration for this wonderful finale. Let's walk inside. <laughs> this is the inside of our cake. Wow. It is beautiful and there's nothing in this room other than one thing and that is a table with a cake on it. Yum. So everyone please help yourself to a slice. <laughs> Feel free to download this map. There are links in the video description below. And I said please do if you've enjoyed this series leave it a like and let us know which has been your favorite episode or build. We love to hear from you. I have to say my last top three, I think one that you haven't shown in this episode, which was <gasps> the subway station. Oh uh, no. No, it's okay. You guys go check out the video, which we have in the playlist that we mentioned before. We do, yeah. Yeah, but I thought that was really cool. Thanks very much. Hmm. Well, we are sorry to be ending the series, but it has been quite a journey. I mean, just looking at all the very many huge and diverse things you've built in Maketopia and this whole world has been really impressive. I think a lot of the ideas came from you guys in the comments, yep. and that has just contributed so much to the world itself. So thank you so much for everyone who has been watching and commenting and giving us your ideas and your feedback and just you know staying with us and supporting us yeah i think it's been amazing with your support we've been able to reach this 40 milestone but you've got to end at some time and hopefully we're ending on a high for us and for you too but please stay tuned because we will have more minecraft and original designs in minecraft and other games on the way soon thanks for watching <laughs>